And now the World Food, Pro Food Program says over 700,000 children out of 2 million population are acutely malnourished in the northeast region of Nigeria. World Food Program country director disclosed this at the official visit of French Ambassador Emanuela Blackman in the Northeast at the Muna IDP Camp Clinic for sev where several malnourished children in Meiduguri. Blackman said the French government will spend 6 million euros to address food security in Nigeria and it has already released half of the budgeted funds to WFP. Mm, uh, for France uh, and in our within our humanitarian assistance throughout the world, food security is uh, is really a, a one of the the biggest uh, components. Um, just to tell you, last year in 2022, France really actually reached for the first time 500 million euros of of um, humanitarian assistance worldwide. Uh, last year, it was a kind of uh, um, a goal that President Macron had uh, fixed uh, to us and we reached it but out of this 150 million uh, euro goes to food uh, security this oh this year for the time being we're at 6.9 million euros but we're only in the beginning of the year so hopefully this is just for humanitarian huh? yes. okay because i'm not cutting development and all that and cultural and things like that. Mm -hmm. uh, but for humanitarian up to now today it's 6.9 million and i hope that by the end of the year it will be more but well france is part of the overall humanitarian response plan that we have in the region. Within that response plan, as there's 4.4 million people in the Northeast who need food assistance. Of that amount, World Food Program is going to be supporting 2.1 million people during the lean season scale up. So we're now busy scaling up and that will get into full swing by 1st of June. So we'll be at or near the 2.1 million, prioritizing also nutrition, malnutrition, mothers and, and children. So France is one of our core, most important and generous donors for the entire operation. But the biggest challenge, bar none, is why we're here, and that is the conflict. The conflict is a challenge. That's why these people are here today. They're due to a conflict. They would like to be back in their farms. They would like to be producing. It's not safe 